Uh, the title of my paper is Moderating Effects of US-China Global Influence Capacity uh, on the Impact of Offshore Development Assistance on Income Inequality. To highlight the, the context, uh, as you know, US-China competition is one of the most uh, uh, defining phenomena of the 21st century, uh, and it has multifaceted implication in uh, over a range of international uh, relation activities. So one of the areas which can be influenced or affected is uh, foreign aid. Uh, this is uh, mainly due to uh, foreign aid is uh, used as an essential foreign policy instrument, uh, which can be used to protect and advance national interest of uh, donor status, which is uh, other than uh, altruistic purpose. Uh, so spe especially uh, in the condition where uh, major powers have uh, different political ideology like China and US, uh, their ambition to recreate uh, a new world order uh, in their image uh, uh, could intensify the competition, even sometimes could turn into conflict. So this could justify and exacerbate uh, the use and allocation of foreign aid uh, for non-altruistic purposes. Uh, here, I would like to put a statement which was uh, made by U.S. Secretary uh, Antony Blinken. We, we will, even in the Ukraine crisis, we will remain focused on the most serious long-term challenge of the international order, and that posed by the People's Republic of uh, China. So it tells the level of uh, uh, engagement and uh, <clears throat> depiction. So the main objective of this paper is uh, investigate the influence of US-China competition on the impact of offshore development assistance in income inequality uh, in uh, eight EGAD member states. So uh, what is EGAD and why is EGAD important? So EGAD is an uh, uh, intergovernmental organization which was established in 1996 uh, by eight East African countries uh, to boost economic growth uh, and uh, peace. So in short, quite to both the US and China. It is essentially due to its geopolitical importance. Uh, one, it is, uh, these countries has immense influence or part of uh, Red Sea and Arabian Peninsula, which is also a major global trade route for uh, over 20% of trade volume. Uh, apart from that, uh, <coughs> due to Swiss Canal, it connects Europe with East Asia and Australia. Uh, so it's also near to uh, oil economies. Uh, here is the map. As you see here, uh, there is a small country called Djibouti. This country hosts almost uh, a, a military base for almost all the United Nations security state member states, including China. So I would like to give you a little bit of uh, uh, explanation about the, the variables here. So U.S.-China is U.S.-China competition uh, is measured by a foreign bilateral influence capacity. Here, power is defined as uh, an ability or a capability to influence uh, uh, other countries' uh, uh, behavior. <clears throat> so, as you see here in the graph, uh, U United States has a higher influence than uh, China. However, uh, Chinese influence is uh, uh, growing since 2000, and specifically after 2025, it's almost steady. But however, the United States global foreign bilateral influence power is declining as of 2019. Uh, here are uh, official development assistance donated or granted by US and China. When I refer to official development assistance, it also includes concessional loans, uh, which has a minimum grant element of 25% at 10% uh, discount rate. Uh, as you see here, on average, uh, US global official, uh, uh, official development assistance is around 30, 356 million, uh, which is uh, higher by 31.74 uh, uh, as compared to Chinese average of uh, 243 million. Um, <clears throat> so to save time, I will keep to the other variable, income inequality. Uh, income inequality is measured by Gini coefficient. Uh, an average income distribution score of EGAD member states is around 
we can also put it between zero and one, <clears throat> which is considered as relatively high. Uh, uh, the maximum uh, official, I mean, uh, maximum income, in, uh, income inequality is uh, recorded uh, by uh, uh, Djibouti, I mean, by Djibouti, I mean, by Kenya, and the minimum one uh, was recorded by uh, Djibouti in 2020 and 2006. Here are uh, the variables. Income inequality uh, is a, a dependent variable. Uh, independent variable, uh, dependent variable, and uh, moderator variable is uh, global power competition, which is measured by a foreign bilateral index, uh, and the rest are controlling variables. So, uh, in in the in the methodology, uh, I have used um, uh, moderated multiple regression analysis and random effect model. Uh, in general, moderation, moderate, moderation means it's also called indirect conditional effect model, uh, uh, which measures the effect of independent variable on dependent variable at, uh, at different levels of uh, a moderator variable or at, at uh, under a condition or an influence of uh, uh, a variable. Uh, this is the model. Uh, the product term here uh, explains the moderation effect. And uh, random effect is, uh, which is unobserved country specific effect, is controlled by uh, here alpha i by random effect uh, model. Here is the procedures that had to, I had to follow to con to conclude uh, whether there is moderation effect or not. Uh, here are the results. Uh, I have used. Predictive margins, predictive margins to show uh, to easily demonstrate uh, uh, moderate, the existence of moderating effect. If uh, the slopes were parallel, then we can consider that there is no moderation effect. But if the slopes of uh, uh, the moderator variable at different levels of moderator variable, variable interacts, then we can consider that the existence of moderating effect. Uh, the same is true for uh, Chinese global influence capacity. Uh, here, <clears throat> in a summary, in general, the result depicts power competition influence, influences official development assistance of, of both countries, meaning US and China, to have widening effect on income inequality in EGAD member states. Uh, if we look at growing, growing Chinese global influence, affects US official development assistance to have an increasing effect on income inequality by 0.63%. Uh, and also dynamics or an increase in US global power uh, uh, affects Chinese official development assistance to have uh, increasing effect in, uh, on income inequality by 2.4% in EGAD member states. Uh, so it's advice for policymakers to uh, consider uh, to design a policy instrument which can minimize uh, the effect of US-China competition uh, on income inequality. Uh, thank you very much.